Hey, it's not 5 a.m. yet. Don't worry. It's uh, 7.14. Welcome to today. Um, it is February 7th, Friday. I haven't really done anything today. I've spent a lot of time in the family room because it's like five degrees warmer than my office over there. Um, I wrote that article for E39 Source that I wanted to about the radio retrofit, the Sirius install, and the auxiliary DIY. And my God, is that a long post. It's about as long as that video that I made yesterday, which is up on E39 Source YouTube right now, if you want to check that out. So here's E39Source.com. I think it ended up being about 2,200 words. It goes through every part number you need, everything you need to do. It's got the pin diagram right there, and then I threw in a bunch of pictures of what the interface looks like and my completed setup and whatnot, and then the video is embedded in the bottom. So it's been a busy day so far. <laughs> it's actually really hard to do a article like that because you don't know specifically what the user or the reader of the article is there for. You know, my article, my task was upgrading a February 2000 E39 M5 to Sirius and Auxiliary. How many people are gonna be doing that exact same thing? Not that many. And every few months, the different cables in the car, the different technology, the different modules, the different radio part numbers changed. So I'm tr kind of trying to do a one size fits all article, which isn't going to be perfect for everybody, unfortunately. For example, if somebody has a 2001 car, their radio is different and they don't need a whole bunch of adapters. So I've tried to make it clear of what they do need and hopefully what they don't and how to put everything together. And I still don't know exactly, it's this cable right here with the brown wires. It goes into uh, the other side here and it'll, it'll go either way. It's two rows of five pins. So it'll plug in like that or it will also plug in like that, either way. And it fits either way. So you've got to plug it in and if it doesn't work, switch it. And if it still doesn't work, then there's another one. So move it over there. If that doesn't work, turn it around in the other port. And there's like eight different combinations of what works and what doesn't. But hopefully people can figure that out. And uh, you know, if I did, if I figured it out, somebody else can do it. I don't have technician training. Okay, so here's this work light that I use all the time out in the garage. My grandfather gave this to me a couple years ago because he had it and I guess didn't have a use for it anymore. It's old, but I really like it. It's a Regent 500 watt work light with extension cord. I like it because it's low, so you can get it under the car. It's adjustable. It's got a 50 foot cord on it, and it's really friggin' bright. It's a 500 watt halogen bulb. So, um, when we were putting the door panels on the 540 this week, this thing just came out of the garage, so it's really cold and really stiff. I had it plugged in. There's a switch on the back right here and it don't work no more. I turned around from getting tools and it was really dark and we couldn't figure out why it's not working. So I'm assuming that the bulb died. It's like a 5,000 watt or 5,000 uh, hour bulb or something like that. And uh, it's, it's over. I don't think it's been on for 5,000 hours, but it's old. So I'm gonna see if I can crack this thing open, figure out what kind of a bulb it is and uh, hopefully find one somewhere or buy one online because I really like this light. So I'll let you know what I find in here. It's a weird looking bulb though. It looks like a hot dog. Yeah, so it was just a Phillips head screw and here's the bulb. It fits in really weird. Like there's two pins in there that stick in the end of these things and make contact. But if we look at this thing in light, that just looks like where the glass was uh, taken off if this thing was like hand blown or something. There's a little mark in it. I don't know why this isn't focusing. Get it to focus on my hand, come on. There's a mark on it right there. And then there's that piece. But, you know, the rest of it looks pretty good. So, I don't know. It says in here though that it's a uh, caution risk of fire, use only type three lamp 500 watts max. So a type three or a T3, T-3 500 watt. I guess that's what I want to find. Internet time. All right, Amazon, great place to search for stuff. T3 500 watt bulb. Here is a GE lighting, that's a 300 watt double-ended bulb for $7. I'm glad it's not crazy expensive. 250 watt, I want the 500 though. I don't want to downgrade it. 500 watt for 555, designer edge work light replacement. It's got a one star review though. That kind of looks like what I got. Yeah, there's that thing in it. 
So I don't know if I should buy this and free two day shipping. So if I can be out the door for five fifty five, I mean, can't really go wrong with that. I wish they had a view of the, the end on it. I guess that looks like what I have. Yeah, I'd say that's it. All right, cool, five bucks. All right, so it looks like uh, looks like there's free two day shipping to get it Tuesday the 11th, five dollars. The free standard shipping, I don't know why they're doing free standard and free that, although apparently I have an Amazon Prime trial to get the free shipping, so we'll click the go button. Does it have my address on here? No. Cool. New bulb on the way. Task two. Let's see if we can get this crap off. This is some residue of something that briefly touched this glass when it was really hot. So I'm gonna try some, uh, some of that, what is it? It's that stuff you use orange. It's, I forget what it's called. When you're out working in the garage and you get crap all over your hands and you use this stuff, fast orange. That probably won't do anything. I have goo gone too, so. Let's be productive about it. If this doesn't work, I'll use a clay bar. Here's what I'm getting with Goo Gone. I feel like it's a little better. It's not good enough. We're gonna try the orange. Uh, uh, better, better. Take three, we're gonna try something else. Hey, I was being an idiot with it. Look at that. Looks brand new. Just cleaned the whole thing up. You know what the best cleaning agent is? Gasoline. Friggin' rights. A little bit of gasoline on some paper towels. And it's spotless, looks like a sapphire crystal. Nice. Also found the application of this thing, which will prevent further crap from getting uh, cocked on the glass there. I probably could have just looked at the picture, but that thing was always floating around in there. I never bothered to figure out what it was. Tighten that handle up. This is like maintenance day. Now I'm gonna tighten this up, because it's a little loose. So I need a screwdriver. All right, we bring in the end of the day with some hot chocolate and some car records. Actually not for a M5, but a 2008 X5 that my dad purchased a couple years ago. There's the original cars.com listing. So anyways, I dug out the paperwork on that car because I'm looking up one of the first things he did when he bought it in 2010. And I'm just looking to see what he paid because I'm considering doing it in the spring. It'll be fun. It's not that expensive. It was actually a lot less than I anticipated. So I'm gonna contact the guy in Canton I uh, got a quote and consider that later in the future, but it's 1.40. I don't know. Time totally got away from me. I wanted to be in bed at this time. Uh, Colt came over after work. We've been watching some of the Winter Olympics, and that's about it. Uh, today, I worked on E39 source pretty much with no breaks aside from working on that light, getting some pizza. I'm talking to Bobby on Skype. I worked on the site today from like 2 p.m. until probably 11. We got a lot of stuff done, a lot of back, back end work, creating, uh, updating a lot of stuff, um, working with plugins. I got the post written, updated a bunch of other posts, fixed some links, made some things look a little bit better, updated some graphics. Um, just an overall enhancement to the site, uh, adjusted some cache settings so it should be a little faster. Uh, stuff like that, so go check it out if you want to read some new content. I updated uh, the post in the family tab about my car. Bobby updated his. Colt is like six months behind on that, so hopefully he'll do that soon. But I'm going to go up and grab a shower, go into Silver Lake, see the grandparents tomorrow. We'll probably do the usual, and then hang out with everybody tomorrow night. So tomorrow should be fun. Okay, that's it. I will talk to you guys uh, tomorrow on Saturday. Hope your weekend's starting out well. Good night.